Tramadoc standing by for airlift. Loud and clear, go ahead. Okay, I understand you had a 25 year old male GSW with a lot of blood loss on the scene. He's hypotensive. What's your ETA? Uh, we'll expect you in 15 minutes with a full trauma code. I'm Nathan White. I'm an attending physician in the emergency department at Harborview Medical Center. I also do research in um, uh, bleeding and clotting disorders. We uh, recently developed a new synthetic hemostat for use in trauma patients. There's a huge need uh, to treat bleeding trauma patients. About 30-40% of trauma patients will actually die from massive blood loss. This is something that I'm passionate about. It's something that I see and deal with every day. Uh, and, and to see young people in the prime of their lives dying for what I think is a treatable problem, uh, it's something that I felt I needed to do something about. In the brain and the heart. And I came to UW uh, looking for collaborations and looking to do research, really innovative research, and I found Susie. My name is Susie Pun. I'm the Robert J. Rushmore Professor of Bioengineering at University of Washington, and this is my lab where we're working on Polystat. Dr. White is quite visionary. He has these ideas of creating new technologies to really revolutionize trauma care. One of the things he identified was that a lot of the trauma patients bleed out before they can reach uh, the hospital. He wanted to have something that could help to stop bleeding and that could be given by first responders. We do a lot of injections and having materials that can target different places and he recognized that as the kind of technology that he needed to realize this vision. So that's just no So she had the right technology, the right engineering capabilities and she had a fabulous graduate student named Leslie Chan who has really spearheaded this work. My name is Leslie Chan. I'm currently the graduate student working on developing Polystat. So Susie called me into her office one day and asked me if I would be interested in working on this new project that um, she and Dr. White had thought of. So she told me um, that we would be developing polymers to try to um, enhance blood clotting in uh, patients after traumatic injury. We wanted a material that could bind to a clot, make it stronger, and help people stop bleeding. But it's not just as simple as that. We weren't just trying to find something that could reinforce clots in a test tube. We needed something that, one, you can inject into the blood so that we wouldn't have to know where the bleeding was. The polymer could find its own way and be able to stop internal bleeding at inaccessible sites. This is a synthetic that's meant to be injected into the bloodstream. And what it does is it circulates in the bloodstream and, and it doesn't do anything until it encounters a wound where a clot is forming. Once it encounters that clot, then it weaves itself into the fibers of the clot, uh, essentially cross-linking the clot and adding structural integrity or reinforcing that clot so that the clot can now hold back bleeding much better. This is the uh, fibrin gel that's formed with the polystat. Um, so as you can see, if I invert this, um, it's now a stiff gel, so it's able to um, then stop bleeding from the wound. We envision that this can be administered in the field, in the hospital, in the operating room, anywhere and any time that it's needed. The point that I'm trying to address is getting these patients and more of these patients alive to the hospital. And, and if you make it to the hospital, you have a really great chance of surviving. Right now in the lab, we're working This is really team science. So this is bringing experts together in various fields, uh, coming together, working towards a specific goal. If it were uh, my family, I would hope um, someone would have developed something to help them. Mm -hmm.